I'm David Toman, author of NootropicsExpert.com. This video is the beginner's guide to nootropic stacks. If you are new to nootropics and you don't know where to start, this video is for you. Now, I'll not insult your intelligence and suggest starting with something simple like caffeine and L-theanine. Instead, let's put together a stack that's simple, safe, and powerful and won't crush your monthly budget. First, let's lay the ground rules for building a stack. Dr. Gugea, the chemist who came up with paracetam in 1963, gave us the list of five criteria that a substance must have to be considered a true nootropic. Dr. Gugea suggested that a true nootropic enhances memory and the ability to learn, assists brain function under disruptive conditions such as lack of oxygen, it protects the brain from chemical and physical toxins like drugs and barbiturates. It increases natural cognitive processes. And it must be non-toxic to humans nor stimulate or depress the brain. Now the bottom line is this stack must be safe to use, even long term. You'll make improvements to cognition and mood. And if you decide nootropics aren't for you, you simply go back to baseline where you started with no damage done and nothing to repair. Now here we're going to put together a simple nootropic stack based on the above criteria, a stack that will, one, enhance concentration and focus, two, improve your mood and lower anxiety, three, increase your energy without irritability and avoid a crash when it wears off, four, boost your memory, five, reduce stress and fatigue, and six, boost learning ability. Sound good? Let's get started. It's important to understand that a nootropic stack should work synergistically because each supplement has a different mechanism of action in your brain and body. And each supplement in your stack should support the other nootropics in your stack. For example, acetylcholine's function in your brain is needed for encoding new memories, reasoning, concentration, cognition, and growth of new neurons or neurogenesis. Now, once acetylcholine does its job, the enzyme acetylcholinesterase comes in and breaks down acetylcholine. Now, you can increase acetylcholine by adding alpha-GPC, CDP-choline, or acetyl-L-carnitine to your stack. But if you use more than one acetylcholine precursor or supplement, you can boost acetylcholine too much. An excess acetylcholine can cause depression, irritability, muscle pain, and a host of other problems. Also, keep in mind that a nootropic like Huperzine A inhibits acetylcholinesterase, which increases acetylcholine levels in your brain. So, if you're using Huperzine A in your stack, you may want to cut back on your dose of alpha-GPC or CDP-choline or other choline supplement. Now, many nootropic supplements either increase acetylcholine or inhibit acetylcholinesterase. If you take more than one choline supplement, you'll hit a ceiling and not get a synergistic effect. The same goes for other neurotransmitters and many other supplements on our list of nootropics. Keep in mind the effect of some nootropics can be cumulative and the effects build up in your brain over time. A good example is Huperzine A, like I mentioned earlier, which has a half-life of 24 hours. Dosing Huperzine A every day means your body never has a chance to get rid of some of the Huperzine A and it builds up over time, even in the short term, which can be toxic. So you should cycle Huperzine A and restrict use to every second or third day. Now for each nootropic you are considering, always, always read the dosage recommendations, the side effects, and possible interaction with other nootropics or prescription drugs. Another thing to consider is that some nootropics are water-soluble and some are fat-soluble. Water-soluble nootropics are generally easily absorbed. Fat-soluble nootropics, however, require a quality fat or a healthy fat to ensure that they get used by your brain and can cross the blood-brain barrier and enter brain cells. Now, this explains why some supplement labels recommend that you take their nootropic with a meal. The manufacturer is implying that it's a fat-soluble supplement and they're counting on the fat in your meal to boost bioavailability. Whenever I'm about to take my nootropic stack, I always precede it with a tablespoon of unrefined coconut oil. 
You can also use extra virgin cold pressed olive oil, but I prefer coconut oil because the MCTs are like a rocket fuel for my brain. In addition to helping my brain absorb whatever fat soluble nootropics I'm using. This stack works well for someone just starting out with nootropics, and it works well for experienced neurohackers as well. CDP choline or citicoline, 250 or 300 milligrams twice a day. This highly bioavailable source of choline easily crosses the blood brain barrier. CDP choline is metabolized in your body to form choline incitidine. Choline aids in the synthesis of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine in your brain. And citidine converts to uridine, which is important for forming brain cell membranes. Bacopa monieri, 450 milligrams per day, taken in the morning. Bacopa is an adaptogen, which helps prevent the chemical and physical effects of stress, instead of just suppressing them like prescription antidepressants. Bacopa monieri is used to reduce anxiety, depression, and stress, and it helps boost memory, concentration, and reaction time. Bacopa is also used for neuroprotection by helping to maintain a healthy balance of neurotransmitters. Bacopa is also effective in treating many of the symptoms of ADHD. Lion's mane mushroom, 500 milligrams, all the way up to 3 grams per day, depending on the polysaccharide content. Lion's mane prevents neuron damage and it boosts nerve growth factor, which is important to forming new neurons or neurogenesis. Lion's mane can help improve focus and attention, boost cognition, repair brain cells, and help anxiety and depression. Anacetyl L tyrosine, 300 milligrams to 500 milligrams twice per day. Now, NALT is a highly bioavailable form of L tyrosine, so you could use L tyrosine as well. It's used in your brain to synthesize or make dopamine and the neurotransmitter norepinephrine. Anacetyl L tyrosine helps alertness, concentration, executive function, focus, libido, memory, and works like an antidepressant. L theanine, 100 milligrams twice per day, taken in the morning and at noon. Or you can drink three to four cups of organic green tea during your day. Green tea is an excellent source of L theanine. It works quickly and helps increase both dopamine and serotonin, the feel good neurotransmitters in your brain. L-theanine stacked with caffeine provides a synergistic effect that helps promote cognition, motivation, attention with no caffeine jitters. DHA, which is an omega-3, 1,000 milligrams per day taken in the morning. Your brain is made up of about 60% fat, and much of that is in the form of DHA. This fat helps in the formation of brain cell membranes, and it plays a vital role in how neurons and synapses function. Synergist, it's synergistic with CDP choline. DHA helps in the formation of phosphatidylserine and phosphatidylcholine, two important components that make up your brain cell membranes. Now, low levels of DHA can lead to ADHD, anxiety, depression, obesity, suicide, and increased risk of Alzheimer's and dementia. A B vitamin complex taken every day in the morning. Make sure you get your formula that is considerably higher than the RDA recommendations. Vitamin B1, or thiamine, is essential for producing the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. It helps turn nutrients into adenosine triphosphate, or ATP, the fuel that's produced in your mitochondria. And it contributes to the myelin sheath that protects axons from damage. Vitamin B3, or niacin, is used in the synthesis of coenzyme A, which helps to form acetyl-CoA. Acetyl-CoA joins with choline, which you get from CDP choline, or alpha-GPC, to form acetylcholine. Niacin is also a precursor to NAD and NADH, needed for ATP synth synthesis that is produced in your mitochondria. And niacin stimulates the production of dopamine, norepinephrine, and serotonin, neurotransmitters involved in cognition, learning, memory, mood, and recall. Vitamin B5, or pantothenic acid, is required for the synthesis of coenzyme A to produce acetylcholine. Now, you may not feel or not realize the full benefit of the rest of this nootropic stack containing CDP-choline or any of the racetams. 
that you may decide to add to this stack without vitamin B5. In vitamin B6, peroxidine, it helps your body make serotonin, norepinephrine, and melatonin. Your body also requires vitamin B6 to absorb vitamin B12 and to make red blood cells and cells for your immune system. Vitamin B8, or inositol, is involved in brain cell signaling and is a component of brain cell membranes. Inositol helps boost serotonin and dopamine receptor in density. Improving the effectiveness of serotonin, GABA, glutamate, and dopamine neurotransmitters in your brain. Vitamin B9 or folate aids in the production of DNA and RNA in your brain cells. And it works closely with vitamin B12 to make red blood cells and to help iron work properly in your body and brain. And vitamin B12 or methacobalamin is needed to regulate homocysteine levels, which are linked to inflammation in your body and brain. And B12 is a cofactor in the synthesis of the neurotransmitters dopamine, GABA, norepinephrine, and serotonin. Nootropic powders usually come with a measuring scoop to help you calculate their, your dose. For a more accurate measurement, I recommend using a pocket scale like the American Way Scales digital pocket scale that I've used. And you can make your own capsules using a simple tabletop machine like the Capsule Connection capsule machine which you can get usually for under $40. You may also want to consider trying MindLab Pro, a high-quality pre-made nootropic stack which contains all the supplements in our beginner's formula. MindLab Pro also contains phosphatidylserine, rhodiola rosea, and pine bark extract for less than buying each nootropic supplements on its own. Another good option for a quality pre-made stack is made by the sister company to My Lab Pro. It's called Performance Lab. And they've got Performance Lab Mind, which contains citicoline, phosphatidylserine, L-tyrosine, and maritime pine bark extract. Supporting focus, mental processing, speed, cognition under stress, multitasking, motivation, memory, and brain health recovery. And then there's Performance Lab Energy, which contains Alcar, Aralipoic Acid, Coenzyme Q10, PQQ, and Biopurine. It's a caffeine-free method for enhancing energy for body and mind. Supporting cellular ATP energy production, mitochondrial genesis and function, fat metabolism, and overall metabolic efficiency. Now, for a more personalized nootropic stack or one tailored to an issue that you want to address, like specifically cognition, or memory, or depression, or energy and motivation, or brain repair and maintenance, see my article called How to Create the Best Nootropic Stack. Now, each nootropic mentioned in this Beginner's Guide to Nootropic Stacks, the original transcript has got links to the individual articles or reviews on Nootropics Expert, and each nootropic article contains dozens of clinical studies and much more detail on how each nootropic supplement helps optimize your brain. Now, if you have any questions about your stack or you have comments about the beginner stack we've covered in this video here, please leave a comment in the comment section below this video or over under the article on Nootropics Expert. And that's my beginner's guide to nootropic stacks. If you want to read the full transcript for this video, you'll find a link to it below this video. And you'll also find dozens of articles on all the most popular nootropics used today over on Nootropics Expert. Now, if you have any questions or you want to share your experience as a newbie to nootropics, please use the comments section below this video or at the bottom of my Beginner's Guide to Nootropic Stacks article over on Nootropics Expert. I do my best to respond to comments and questions as quickly as I can. And if you haven't already, download your free copy of Secrets of the Optimized Brain. It's nearly 100 pages and contains details in 92 of the most popular nootropics used today. And consider getting a copy of my book, Head First, The Complete Guide to Healing and Optimizing Your Brain with Nootropic Supplements. Head First is nearly 600 pages and the best guide on the planet for fixing and optimizing your brain. It's only $37. And if you could use some personal help with choosing the right nootropics or figuring how to deal with your own brain health issues, consider booking a personal consultation with me. You'll find a link to my calendar below this video. And if you want to see more videos on all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave.
I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.